I was actually about to make a different video, which I'm still planning on doing, but I just got home a little while ago from work and uh, I opened up my fake book page, which I, I don't check that often, but yeah, whatever, there's a message, I'm, okay. And what I found was just hysterical. Now, apart from my name that I deleted there, that's verbatim a message I just received about an hour ago, or I don't know when I received it, but that's when I saw it. Now, a little background on this. I used to be really good friends with this guy years ago, as in a decade ago, right? And about eight or so years ago, maybe nine, he, uh, he got hit, she got married to a very conservative Polish woman. And he, uh, he sort of... <laughs> He kind of lost touch slowly but surely. Eventually, I just never heard from him. Uh, at the time, I was li I lived in Berlin for a while years ago, and uh, I, I I made a couple of attempts, repeated attempts to get in touch with him and what have you, and uh, yeah, never to no avail. Never received a response. So I just said fuck him eventually. And the delicious irony here—it's not even irony; it's just fucking funny—is that. Because his wife wants to throw away my junk, some books and DVDs I left there eons ago, which I almost had forgotten about. That's why he contacts me. Notice he doesn't ask how I'm doing, anything like that. No, he just says, uh, where are you? Can you come pick them up? My wife told me to, to ask you this. Now, I'm using this and making this video to show you a textbook example of how women uh, particularly of the married sort, isolate their husbands from their friends, and oftentimes the family members, but in this case, uh, friends. And I used to be pretty tight with this guy. We had some some good discussions, and anyway, long, long time ago. And they, how they try to isolate men, married men, from their friends, and then just, uh, they just sort of disappear into the ether of, of, of wedded unbliss. And you're just when you're when you're still a blue pillar, you're kind of let puzzle why that happens. I think at the time, though, I mean, I I was drifting towards sort of a purple pill stance on things. Anyway, I've never been even prior to my purple red pill days uh, a fan of marriage. But I just I never liked his wife ever. I never got along with her. Uh, mind you, she never really got along with any of his friends. Go figure. Uh, but ultimately, she she took command uh, of the of the steering wheel uh, and uh, yeah, he just disappeared in the ether. I know he has at least two children. He might have more. I'm not really sure. Uh, I haven't kept up because uh, like I said, I tried a couple of years ago for, for a while, but I never heard back from him after about five, six, or maybe even seven attempts of email, some phone calls. I just felt like, like a fucking idiot trying to contact this guy. Who, uh, anyway, seven, it's been seven years since I heard from him. Seven years. Seven fucking years. And the only message I get from this guy is, uh, we need more space. Because my, uh, my wife says we need more space. Can you pick your stuff up? Where are you? <laughs> I mean, this is just comedic. And the fact that he doesn't even realize that he hasn't talked to me in seven years of apparently his own volition or because his wife told him not to or whatever. I mean, his wife, it was mutual, didn't like me either, ever. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's amusing uh, to me. I mean, I, I, have no, I have no feelings of friendship towards this guy whatsoever anymore. It's long since evaporated. I have nothing but contempt for him. But it's, it's just funny that he, he contacts me on Facebook. Out of the blue, <laughs> my wife has uh, some DVDs and, and stuff of yours. Can, can we throw them away? <laughs> Can you pick them up? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, it's just, uh, it's a bit mind-boggling. But this is textbook. I'm using this. This is textbook. Women, uh, uh, a textbook example of how women attempt to separate uh, men from their friends and isolate them from themselves. I and mean, this guy, even before I completely lost contact with him, was essentially a manslave of his wife. I mean, he was a servant to the wife. The wife issued a command. You know, there was no more hanging out. Uh, I've never been a big drinker, but you want to go get a cup of coffee, tea. It was, it was now nah, my wife, blah, 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 my wife, this. Then, of course, she got knocked up and they just 
then it was just all downhill. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, this is the, the state of affairs. I mean, women routinely try to isolate men from their friends. And I'm not the only one. I know that he had very much diminished contact with another uh, acquaintance of mine, but a friend of his, someone I knew. And I'm assuming this, this probably was applicable to many other friends he had. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting how that, uh, how that works. But um, like I said, I have nothing but contempt for the guy, but still, it's pretty audacious. I think funny for him to contact me after, you know, I had made several attempts years ago, over seven years ago, never heard from him. And then seven years later, he sends me some shitty message on fake book. By the way, I told him to throw it away. I said, to throw it away. But I also said, you're a funny guy. Uh, thanks for the laugh. He probably won't get what I mean by that, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is what happens. Um, you know, this is this basically enslavement. I mean, it, uh, they, they forget about everything outside of their marriage, everything outside of their, their obsession with breeding, uh, all their friends. Let me tell you something. If there's anything I value apart from knowledge in my life, it's, it's my friends, people, people, i primarily men, of course, that, uh, that have, uh, you know, been there for me that I've common interest with and I, I always stick with them no matter what I always stay in contact I'm never one to drop contact ever never have been even before that's just my character and uh, that's why I was you know I mean, this is not the first time this is not the only friend that got married and then just disappeared into the into the nether uh, nether regions with his wife um, it's but this is the first friend who actually decided to have the audacity to contact me on Facebook asking if you could throw away my stuff. Well, fuckhead, go throw it away if you want, but whatever. It's just it's just pretty amusing to me. And I mean, there's nothing. This is a bit of a rat more than anything else. But um, by the gods, this is textbook. It's just textbook. This this guy was a textbook example of what happens when uh, when you get married, and you know, it's just uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah. So if you know guys that are about to get married, well, uh, this might happen to you as well, friends of yours. Uh, it's just it's just all consuming. Notice how the women keep their friends though. The women keep their friends, but they want you to give the friends up. That's how that works though. Uh, isolate the man, keep him at uh, at at your as if you're a woman, your individual mercy. Uh, keep him away from your friends possibly the family member that this is this is how they work because all the attention needs to be given to her uh, and uh, like I said uh, just funny funny post thought I share it with you but uh, anyway I'm gonna probably work on that other off-the-cuff video I've been meaning to make had some thoughts some extended thoughts on uh, male mother need that I think need, should be addressed and uh, when I was at work I was thinking about it and um, so I'll probably get right to that hopefully Anyway, uh, take care and may the gods be with you.